Hi, and welcome to the Summer 2012 Licks and Tips. You know, uh, a lot of you already know that in the past I've uh, gotten quite a few honors. I've uh, won the National Fingerstyle Guitar Contest in 2002, and a couple of years later uh, won the Open Division of the International Home of the Legends Contest in Kentucky. And uh, Just a year and a half ago, uh, I was inducted into the Clark County Hall of Fame here in my local area in Washington State. And uh, there's been many other things, uh, trips all over the world and, and uh, just many wonderful honors and people to play with and appearing at the Chet Atkins conventions and so forth. But you know, most of those things uh, really transpired because I did something astonishing, uh, something spectacular. And um, uh, those kinds of songs and arrangements are just full of uh, tricks and licks and stuff. And anyway, when I'm at home and just uh, sitting around here uh, with nobody to impress, <laughs> actually, I uh, enjoy playing music that is just really kind to the ear. I like uh, to just hear beautiful sounds come out of the guitar. I can just sit leaned back in my armchair with a practice guitar or something for a, an hour or two at a whack sometimes just hearing pretty chords and progressions and stuff come out of the guitar. It's not, doesn't have to impress anybody, it just has to sound pretty. <clears throat> and when I'm doing that sort of thing, inevitably uh, a little melody starts popping out here and there and an idea here and something else there until I've actually developed a new song. And as I'm writing songs, which is kind of a misnomer because I don't write them, I, in fact I hate to have to write them down, I eventually do, but <laughs> I, I like to just make them up, just sit and play and conjure up ideas and experiment with things until I come up with a, uh, an overall sound from end to end that I like. Uh, in the beginning, I uh, had melodies that were kind of short. It was like I was the king of the chorus, but I couldn't seem to come up with a good verse to go with it or, or a good bridge or whatever, but I got better at that uh, as I went. Well, anyway, uh, the point of it all is, is that I've actually been writing these little original ditties now for a little over 30 years. And uh, I went back recently and kind of looked at all the stuff that I'd put together and I thought, you know, there's really a pretty nice little body of original work here. And most people really don't even know anything about it because I've only put out a, a record or two out of the dozen that I've put out uh, that had very many original tunes on it. Some CDs will have you know, like one original tune embedded into it somewhere. Uh, but I decided it would be a fun project to uh, look at all these various tunes, and there's 30 some odd of them uh, that I came across that I thought were real contenders. Uh, I eventually narrowed it down to 18 songs and, uh, and recorded a new CD. Uh, I call it Candlelight Guitar. I don't know if you can see it from there, but uh, anyway, it is a collection of 18 of my prettiest uh, melodies, and uh, <clears throat> they're not as impressive and full of licks and everything as uh, some of my other stuff in that way. But I think musically, they really hold together. They're really good tunes and nice progressions, good playing and so forth. And they've been recorded on various different projects over the years, uh, quite a few of them. Some of them are new uh, that hadn't been recorded yet. And um, so I went back and I re-recorded -re some of these tunes. Uh, I used some original uh, cuts from various albums. Uh, I recorded the new tunes and uh, uh, remixed and remastered. I, and by the way, some of the older tunes I actually added uh, like a second guitar or percussion part or something to. And, and then I sat around and worked on the order to put them in and so forth until I came up with this Candlelight CD. And it's, it's really um, a, a pretty collection. And <laughs> it ended up being a little long. It's almost 73 minutes long for those 18 cuts. So it's pretty near a double album actually. But I just kind of wanted to squeeze them all onto one project so that I'd have one record out of my collection that's really uh, an example of me, my own writing and so forth. John the Artiste, you know. <laughs> so anyway, I thought I'd play uh, uh, one of them for you here just to give you an idea. This is one of the newer ones. Um, I call it Almost Home.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and um, if you like that, uh, there's 17 more of them <laughs> uh, on that record, and uh, perhaps you'll drop by johnsandover.com, take a look at the store page. There's all kinds of stuff there besides this CD. There's one I just put out a few months ago, actually, uh, with my good friend Jim Wallace. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, the two of us uh, jamming together on various tunes. It's called Guitar Chemistry. And then there's a whole pile of other ones, records and CDs. And then there's books and videos and learning materials and a whole pile of tabs, uh, downloadable things and so forth. So uh, take a little time and, and visit. Uh, jot me an email or something like that if you feel like it. Uh, my email is just john at johnstandover.com. Pretty easy. You know. So anyway, hopefully uh, you'll get a kick out of that. And I will uh, be back in the fall. Uh, with another Licks and Tips video, and we'll see you then. <laughs> so long.